there are three things to think about when it comes to marijuana and mental illness. Number one, can marijuana cause mental illness? Number two, can marijuana be used to treat mental illness? And number three, can the way our society treats marijuana itself cause mental illness? So let's take the first one, can marijuana cause mental illness? Well, for a long time, uh, people have worried about this. Uh, societies um, going back to the 19th century have been concerned whether uh, marijuana use can cause uh, people to go insane. And there was a whole era called reefer madness where people really believed or were thought to believe that use of marijuana could lead to m mania, homicidal mania specifically, where you go crazy and kill people. But every time that's been seriously looked at, studied by scientific bodies, they really couldn't find any kind of uh, association with these uh, mania syndromes. But uh, it, in more recent studies are being done to look at specifically certain vulnerable populations, like um, adolescents who have pre-existing mental health problems. Um, and it turns out that possibly we might be able to find a correlation with adolescents who use marijuana who have pre-existing behavioral and psychological problems may be at a higher risk of developing longer standing psychotic problems. But these associations are very weak. They're, uh, they're, they're done through retrospective studies and you really can't uh, do a controlled study to find that out. And the problem with these studies is that it really confounds how the society views marijuana. Because it turns out that with all the law enforcement, all the messages that we get about marijuana, when, you do, when you're going against that grain by using something that's both prohibited and taboo and stigmatized and illegal, it, that itself can cause psychological distress. And it's difficult to tease that out from the actual substance itself. Now, uh, it turns out that marijuana has been shown in some studies to be associated with improved mental uh, health in patients who are chronically mentally ill. Uh, there's been studies in sch chronic schizophrenia patients that those who are using uh, cannabis or marijuana end up, uh, can in some studies have longer lives, in some, some studies have higher levels of social functioning. And that's all related to the fact that the system that marijuana binds to in our brain and nervous system is, uh, all, is uh, tied in very intimately to our cognitive functioning and our, our way that we approach the world and our, our ego construction. So that's, uh, that's what that's about and a lot of people are excited about the use of, of compounds in marijuana like cannabidiol, CBD, to treat uh, illnesses like schizophrenia and psychosis. Uh, certainly there's interest in depression treatment, anxiety treatment, post-traumatic stress disorder. All of these things are exciting areas in the world of mental illness treatment with, with marijuana. Now, uh, finally, marijuana enforcement itself can be a trigger for mental illness uh, because of the chronic distress of worrying about being per persecuted or prosecuted by law enforcement. And I've met numerous uh, patients and, and uh, people who live in places where uh, it's illegal to use marijuana, even though uh, it's medically okay at the state level, but the federal government saying it's, it's illegal and they are caught. And this can cause really severe distressing symptoms. Uh, so that itself is um, all part of the social fr framework that we uh, put marijuana into. Uh, so we have to be careful how we build those frameworks. Thank you.